Okay, fellas, so what we're going to do, obviously we've got the, all these guys, uh, the guys who come to watch, okay, but all we're going to do is focus on what we've got to do, okay? And I have had strict instructions from Kelly that the line has been going really, really well with the under-18s games. So his main message for me was don't mess it up, okay? He put it in Scottish terms for us as well. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're, going to, yeah, we're just going to get, all get into it. To start, we're just going to focus on some, on some jumping, some jumping techniques, and, and, and we'll build it up, and then we're going to obviously build up to some competing lineouts. We'll look at some different deliveries, okay, and some games within that, okay? It won't all look like a, 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 a normal sort of structured lineout, okay, but we will get to a point where it might look a little bit like that, and then we'll break away and do something different again as well. All sound good? Okay, so just to start with, I know we've got hookers, we've got some props in here as well. Just to start with, getting a pair, and all you're going to do, one of you come here, so we'll just use you two. You're just going to line up on this, on this line. You're going to line up facing me. Okay, you're going to come here and you're going to be about three metres away from him. Okay, all you're going to do, you're going to run towards him. Without hitting him, you're just going to run and you're going to jump as, as high as you can, as close as you can to him. Okay. Happy? So we're going to do a quick warm up. Beat him, fellas, so don't go spreading all the way up to that top end. Stay in front of where these guys are. So all you're going to do is just about yeah, running forward. He's going to stay still. Okay, you're going to run towards him. Get as close as you can. Okay, and think about jumping, uh, jumping as high as you can. Yep, off you go, just in your own time, whenever you want. Okay, so do I have a couple of goes each? We a couple of goes. Okay, and stop there. So, what we're finding? What's happening? Jump back so, we don't so, we're jumping backwards so we don't hit him, or what else are we doing? How far away? Yes, yeah, so we're still we're taking off from back here because we're thinking we're going to jump forward, we're going to whack into him. Okay, so what have I got to think about then? If I don't want to bang into him, but I want to get maximum height, what have I got to think about? Where to stop? Where to stop? Yeah, what else? Jumping straight up rather than jumping forward. So again, I want us now to imagine that this square, yeah, this foot square in front of him is like the end of a diving board. Okay, so I'm going to hit the end of the diving board and I'm going to spring straight up in the air. Okay, so I'm going to hit that point there and then I'm going to go straight up. So I'm not going to go and jump straight into him. But I've got to challenge myself to get as close as I can to him before I take off. Okay, let's go. Good. Good. I thought you were going to neck on with him then. <laughs> Good. Oh, mind his toes. So again, straight up, thinking all the time. Off that end of that driving board and we're going to take off straight up. Good, I'll stop there. Okay, we're going to keep going. We're just going to do a couple more of this. Why do you think this is important for our lineup? What's the, what are the, thing with the principles we're looking at here? It's explosive. it's explosive, yeah. Why is that important for our lineup? What are we looking for? What are the key principles to any lineup, do you think? Getting up quick, yep. Anything else? High, getting near maximum height. Speed over the floor. So, again, why, why is speed over the floor important? What are we looking to do is speed over the floor? Beat the defence. Okay, so now, okay, some of us were just sort of jogging in there and doing the jump. Okay, you've got to challenge yourself now as fast as you can over the floor. We're still jumping straight in the air. Okay? Well, yeah, do two, two more of these each and then we're going to swap it round. Yeah, Max, jump. I know some of you might be front rowers and you don't want to jump like this. Yeah, good stuff, Harry. Good. Good. And rest. Good. Okay, all you're going to do now. So that's obviously going forward. What else do we have to do in the line now? Go backwards, okay? So now you're going to turn, you're going to have your back to him. So now we're going to have some space to where it's where he is. Okay, I'm going to work to go backwards towards him and then jump. Okay, and my challenge is still to get as close as I can to him. I'm still looking to jump straight up. Okay, let's go. So work it out, so see how fast you can get back. Maybe do a few couple of foot pans, see where you are. And then maximise that height. What's happening as we're going backwards? Just have a think, where are we jumping? Where are we taking off? Where are we finishing? Couple more. Yeah. Good. Okay, just stop there. 
So, we're looking for speed over the ground. I heard one group doing it here. Okay, what do you think we can do? What can you do to help him? Communicate. So, when the communication, what can you, what can you give him? Tell him how close he is. Tell him when to set. Okay, so again, now let's try and help each other out with that. Okay, so yeah, if he's on his way back, maybe a nudge in the back or to tell him when he's there. Or actually, yeah, tell him set now and then he's going to go up. Okay, so a bit more communication. Again, challenge yourself with how fast we can go backwards. Okay, we're looking at speed off there, speed over the floor, speed into the air. Good. Good, yeah, we're not lifting. Just, yeah, you can put your hands on him, just stop him. Good. Good. Fellas, are we still? Yeah, so the guy who's behind him. Stop. Just stop there. So the guy behind, just give the feedback. So obviously there. I know you're not much of a jumper. Definitely more for pushing. Okay, but we'll take off here and we're landing here. Give him that feedback to where he took off and where he's landing. Okay, let's help. Let's coach each other a little bit as well. Okay, so give each other some feedback on what we're seeing. Good, and rest. Okay, just uh, buddy up now, so just pair up, so you just work, gonna work together, work together, work together in, uh, in, uh, in pairs. Okay, all we're going to do now, we're just going to challenge that as far as some, uh, some competition. So you're going to stand the line, you're going to stand the line. You two are going to stand there, okay? On my go, you're going to race, okay? We're just going to see who can get over the floor the fastest and into the air the fastest, okay? We've got to jump, and it's got to be straight up in the air, and we've got to land it and, and stick the landing as well, okay? So if you, if you wobble over or you fall, it's, it's, a, it's a fail. Okay, so we're looking speed over the floor, so it's a massive race. Go! What do you think? Team on the left for me. Okay, we did stick the landing. So again, now, so in those pairs, we just have a couple of goals. So now it's up to you two. One of you decide to say, uh, what do you guys say, go for them? I think he beat you over the floor. Yeah, so let's go. So keep working on those reactions. Good. Oh, good. A hook is beating you over the floor. What's going on? Good. And rest. Okay, spin it round to now. We're just going to do exactly the same thing, but we're going to work backwards. Okay. What do you think? What are the key things we just talked about, Ken? So what's what tends to happen now we start thinking about racing? Technique's going okay, so we're looking, we're going fast over the floor, we're taking off, we're jumping forward, we're losing some of our shape in the air. Okay? Although we're looking for that as max speed, we've still got to have good control and be able to get maximum takeoff. Okay? Last couple and we're going to move it on. What do you think? Give me some feedback. Which way is he going? Again, I know he's not a jumper. Jumping out to the side, yeah, so make sure we're taking off square. Good. Good, and rest. Okay, we're good now, so we've got, so I know we've got two hookers, so just uh, the two hookers grab a, a couple of balls for us. Okay, you're going to work just throwing from, uh, throwing from the try line. We'll just get pods. We're just going to go up now and just start looking at some of the lift. Okay, and we'll add the lift to that jump now. So in, in uh, groups of three, so give us a uh, yeah, pod, two lifters. So a jumper and two lifters. You're going to face there. There's a hooker on the line, try line. You're going to throw back this way. Okay, just, uh, yeah, we're going, to, we're going to mirror this up in a minute. And we're going to, we're going to uh, uh, work it in, in a couple of groups. What's the key things for our lift? So we're looking front lift to start with. What are you focusing on here? Okay, before that, so what's the, what's the okay, first right. thing you're going to do? Okay, so looking at, yes, yeah, so we're going to sight our target, see where we're going to go and lift. Yeah. Okay, so make sure we're see, seeing that. So then you're looking, sighting your target, you're going to lock your hand on there. So, yep, thumbs around, thumbs around his knees, grip. Okay, what else are you going to do when you're going to squeeze him up in the air? What are you focusing on trying to do? Uh, bring my legs together and like push him forward. So, yeah, so you're going to walk, walk him in nice and close. Again, think about pincer, so you're going to try to grip his knees together as well. Yeah. Keep him holding the air. Back lift, what were you focusing on? So perfect, yeah, so again, looking at, first up, as you say, under his, under his arse cheeks, under his butt. Okay, yeah, that good shape on your hands, so you can actually sit on that shelf, push him out the top, and we, yeah, we're looking to then to grip all of them and keep him, keep him held up there. 
Okay, I want you just to go up and I want you to try and pin him. We want to held held at the top for for a second and then you can bring him back down. Yep. What do we think? Okay, so yeah, so just try and pin him up in the air if he wants to be pinned up in the air a little bit longer. Good, now bring him down. Good. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do to start with. Don't worry about the landing just to start with. Okay, there's only two hookers, so it might be there'll be another there'll be another four there's a four of you, so somebody just throw the ball to that four. So you come just come up here and make another uh, uh, come and throw to this group up here, buddy. Okay, so just stay, stay still, we'll keep rotating round. Fellas, just on the stuff we've just done with a jump. Okay, so we talked about taking off and trying to take off and land in the same spot. Why? Makes it easy for the lifters. What else does it make, make, make us be able to do? So if I'm walking along, can I maximise height? Is it easier to maximise height if we're nice and still and we're, we're actually going straight up in the air? Okay, yeah, so let's look at when now, whenever you take off, we should take off and we should be landing in the same place. Okay, so pin him and then bring him straight back down where he is. Good, good lift. Good. Well done. Good. One more. Good, unrest. Unrest. Do you jump, you jump as well? No. I mean, we've only got one jump in this group. Have we got two jumpers in that group? No. We've got three jumpers in that group by the looks of it, have we? Let's split. Yeah, so one of you come down there, you go up there now. Let's split the jumpers up a little bit so we don't have one guy doing 500 reps. Okay, you can rotate around. Just um, you swap with this guy. You can, you can go throw and you can go lift on that one first as well, please, buddy. That's got two jumpers in each group. All we're going to do now, just on these, we're just going to go into these grids. Okay, so there's squares here. So there's three squares down there. Okay, with different colours in. I want the jumper to be in the middle. Okay, the jumper's in control now. Yep, so you go down to that end. You come down to this one, and then the last group in that, that one there. So there's cones there. Okay, so all we're going to do now, we're going to work on that stuff we've just been talking about. Okay, so max height. We're looking at movement into space. So again, if we call the jumper, we'll call the colour. So obviously green, blue, yellow, red. He'll move to that cone, and then we're looking to take off straight in the air. Okay, so now we're adding movement. What's going to happen? Or potentially happen? So we might, yeah, we might, we might mess up some of the top height, we might mess up some of our stability. So again, the principles have got to be, we've got to be rock solid when we take off, okay, and then looking to jump straight in the air. Are we all happy? Okay, let's have a couple of goes at that, okay? Plenty of repetitions, we've got two jumpers in each group now. So you call, you, yeah, so give him space. So again, don't sit on top of him, so you've got to give him space, he's going to call the colour, and then move to it. Good, bring him down. So, what do you guys need from him? I think maybe... Sort of set and then went off the end. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, a little bit slower. yeah, yeah. So you can, okay, I think you can get there. You know where you're going. These guys have got yeah. to be able to react to you. So you guys have got to be ready to react and move quick. Okay, you've got to be yeah, give them time to actually get there and get set as well. Red. Good. So where's he taken off? So he took off on the red cone and landed about a foot and a half away from it. Okay, again, looking to take off and land exactly where he took off. Good. Good. Okay, last one. Blue. Oh, good reactions. Okay, just come in. Okay, so we're going to go back, we're going to do a little bit more in, within this, okay? So now I want to focus on, okay, so obviously looking, we're getting decent movement, we're getting good lift and getting good lift height. Okay, from there, what have we then got to be able to do? So once we've gone up and we've won it, controlling, bringing it back down to ground. So all we're going to look at now, okay, is our finished position, okay, to get stability and to be able to do what we want to do off it. So if we want to drive, okay, if we want to break out, do some sort of different, different types of deliveries, but again, but we need to be solid onto the ground. So all the time now, you're going to be playing as if you're playing out of the square. Okay, so this is going to test us as well. Front rows, stay with it. 
So, what are we going to do? So, okay, if, if I'm playing, okay, we're going to play as if we're playing out of the square. So, if I call green, okay, I'm going to run there, I'm going to win the ball, and then I'm going to present it back to the middle of the square, and I want my lifters to protect me as if we're playing out that way. Obviously, if I call blue, okay, we win it on that cone, I'm going to play out of the square, present the ball back to the middle of the square, and we're playing out that way. Okay, so, give us a setup as if how we want to, how we want to land the guy just here. So, this three that work here, this group that are working here, just go as if you're going to the blue cone. Okay, so you're playing out, playing, playing out, that way, so, so you're playing out, so yeah, yeah, so you're presenting the ball back to the square all the time, don't worry, yeah. it's fine, so all the time you're going to put the ball back in the middle of the square, okay, so if you're playing this way, you turn the other way, put the ball back in the square, so how, yes, yeah, so how are you going to land when if you want to be nice and solid on the floor? Wide base, Okay, so wide base and you're sat that way and I'm here, okay, and we want to set up a mall, what are you, what am I, what, what potentially can I do to you now? Set. Yeah, why? And? Okay, so for me to, yeah, right, now now we're thinking about it, okay, so now we've got that split, okay, so now you're strong left to right, but you're also strong front to back as well, okay, what else did you say you could do? Yep, so drop that height down, okay, so that gives it more stability now. Where do we want you guys? So if we're playing out of here. Okay, so Kelly's got your hook in and that, fine, so we're looking at hooking there, we're looking at dominating that space and getting it nice and tight. Okay, so that is now every time, we've, yeah, that's our finishing position. Happy? Let's go then. So yeah, plenty of uh, yeah, plenty of reps. Keep swapping the jumpers round. Good. Good. What do you think on that landing? So when we landed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what can we? How can we? When we want to stick that landing, what have we got to be thinking on the way down? Yeah, yeah, so again, just organise your feet on the way down, so as you're bringing the ball down, so we land that way, okay? Just think about how we can get that organised nice and early in the air. Good, good lad. Now we can think we can sink that height as well, yeah? So now drop that as we come down. Good, good landing. How are we getting on? Yeah? Yep. Oh, we've lost our back lifter. We weren't quite there. Good, and rest. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, so I think we can move faster, can't we? So again, if we're looking to, to dominate this space, we can get into that space a little bit quicker. Happy? Yeah. Okay, we'll bring it together. We'll split you guys up now, so you can go, uh, two go in this group, two go with the fire group. Just rest there. Okay, so these guys are just going to come and join in, and join in with your group now. Okay, last thing just on this. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to test that. Okay, so test the strength, test the stability of it. So all we're going to do, so one, yeah, so that pod, guy who's throwing it, and then there's two spare bodies, all we're going to do, okay, so if you go, yeah, call, uh, call blue, so you're playing towards me. Blue. Sound the spare body here. All I'm going to try and do is get in that space, okay, and I'm going to try and drag him over. So we're testing that stability as well as we want to the floor. Okay, what are you going to do? We'll go, uh, we've got four, four, reps, uh, four reps of this. Okay, so swap the jumpers around each time, swap the lifters around each time. So we've just got four quality reps. Okay, and then we're going to move it on. So they're just, yeah, one pot of three in the middle. So, yep, you're in. So decide, yeah, so they've got one each side. So if you go that way, obviously you're going to try and challenge it. If you come this way, you're going to challenge him. You're just trying to sack him, try and pull him on the floor, try and split. You're trying to get into the, into the lift somehow. Good, well done. That's it, that's all it is. So, yeah, that first one, two seconds and then break. Swap it around. Four quality reps, that's all we're looking for. So take your time, make sure you work nice and solid. Good. Yeah, don't play him in the air, make sure our hands are off until we actually get him back down, back down to floor. Good. What do we think? What do you think there? Are we leaving too much space for him to get, is he managing to get to the jumper fairly easy there? Yeah. So how can we get out and make that harder for him? So getting closer as I bring him down. Yeah, yeah, so getting closer and I think about putting him out of the line a little bit more as well. Okay, so I think we can close that space off and not let him get to that jumper so easy. Okay, two more, two more you've got. Good. Good. Last one. Good, very good. 
Last one for you. Well done, fellas. Good, brilliant. Well done. Okay. Have you got some drinks over here or not? Are you? No, no. It's all right. We're all right. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're just going to put it into some stuff and we're just going to look at some movement stuff. Okay, so all we'll do is we'll stay in those groups we're just in. So you each had a hook, did you each have a hooker in your group? Yeah, you did, didn't you? Okay, so all we're going to do, we're just going to go down this end so we can follow up. We're going to put it under a bit of competition now, so, so we're going to add some movement to it. So we put the hookers on the blue cones. Okay, rest of us line up, so if we have a... a, a a prop at the front, say, and then I've jumpers throughout and a, and a prop or another lift with the tail. So we're going to have five guys in here, five guys in each line that we should have. So it's a five man line out. So we need a jumper in here. Yeah, we've got jumpers throughout. Lift with the tail, lift on there. Okay, so all we're going to do, we're going to take it in turns. Okay? And what we're going to judge it on, we're going to give points for speed over the floor. Okay, we're going to give uh, points for max drill. Okay, we're going to give points for landing on the, on the deck. So you can get a maximum of three points. Okay, so it's going to be scored. So we'll go, you guys will go first. I'm going to call the colour. Max drill, how do we land it? Okay, and then we'll call your guys. Landing as if it's a mole. Landing as if it's a mole, yeah. So land it on the floor, so we're going to stick it every time. Okay, so you're going to take it in turns so you're not doing loads and loads of jumps. Okay, okay you guys, you can judge how good this, like, this group is. Okay, so you can give them the points that they think they deserve. You guys out of three, so we're talking speed, max height, and then stability on the landing. Okay, so you guys can give them their score. Remember, they are going to give you your score. Yes, so be fair. Okay, so we're starting on you. I'm going to call the colours. Are we ready? Green! What do you think? So, it's supposed to be a quick scoring game. Three! I'm giving it three. Brilliant. Are you ready? This team then. Red! Yeah, yeah, yeah! What do you think? Where did that go? I'm giving it none. I didn't even get the ball. Okay, so we're going to get the whole drill. is going to get the ball as well. Okay. Fellas, just uh, give us a bit more spread out so the, I don't want the props actually uh, in contact with. You can be off for a little bit of the tail as well, so we've got a bit more space between them. Are you ready? Yellow! What do you think? Two, okay. Green! Three, well done. Very generous. Good stuff, fellas. Yeah, let's keep going. Yellow! Ooh. What do you think? One. Two? That's going for you. One. I'm thinking one as well. Ready? Green! Good. Okay. So we're going to bring Lewis in now. So Lewis is now going to be in charge of scoring. Let's swap the hookers over as well so you're throwing to a different line out. Okay, all we're going to do now, I'm going to call it. Lewis is going to score it. It's a race. Okay, so now we're called, what, you're both going at the same time. It's about who can get the ball in the hands, okay, and land so nice and solid. So it's a race to get the ball in your hands, but it's still got to be top drill. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, so we're looking at that race. Space off the tail, though, we're still on top of him. So a little bit of space. Green! So we're just going, yeah, so one up. Yeah, one nil to you guys. Are you ready? Red! One all. one all. Was that all? Did they get, who got the, I can't even add it up. You got the first one, you got the first two. Two nil. Yellow. Two one. Red. Two, two, he's giving him it. Okay, so now we're going to move on. We're going to just add a little bit more movement into it. So now we're going to call two colours. Okay, the first colour, you must move towards the colour. So if I call yellow, we've got to go towards it as if it's a fake. Okay, and then I'll call a different one. So obviously I call yellow. I could call yellow, yellow, 
Okay, but again, I could go yellow, green, yellow, red, whatever. Happy? So again, we're looking at, yeah, speed over the floor and looking to try and get max drill. Yellow, red. Whoa. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, bit confused. So again, we need to get the idea now, so I'm going to call it two colours. Okay, we then react and we're going to be able to move over the floor nice and quick. Green, red. Bring it down, good. Red, yellow. Good, and rest. What do you think? What do you guys think? What's, what do you think of the drill? Pretty good. Okay, I do you think we're getting max height every time? No, no. So again, I think now we're going, because we're now thinking, I've gone there and I'm coming back in, we're rushing it. We're not quite getting max drill. Let's focus on max drill, okay? That's the biggest thing for ball winning anyway. Okay, we're getting as much as we can out of the height of the lift. Red, green. Good, better. Good lads, good, good. Yellow! Yellow! Yeah, good reactions. Well done, fellas. Lewis, what's the score? 2-1. Two, 2-1? One. Two, one. I think he's just made that up, guys. But anyway, are we ready? Yellow! Red! Good, land that. Good, good landings, fellas. What are we now? 2-0? Oh, 2-0. It's 2-0. Winner takes all. Last one. Green, yep. red, yep. yellow. <laughs> oh, got three colours. That's completely stuffed me. Okay, are we all happy with that? Again, different games. Again, it's all about speed of the floor and reaction stuff. Okay, how do you think? What uh, as far as how we set up? What how can we make this better for our movements? Um, more consistent with how many steps we take to each step. Yeah. What about how we set up in the line? Do we want to set dead square? Do we want to set dead square? Do we, how do we think? Yeah, yeah. So Batman can pretty much set square. What about the front man? He could be an option up front, but he can. He could, he could stay side of front because he could flash and go and get the ball to on the floor. What else? What about the guys in the line? So jumping. How are you gonna? How are you gonna make it so that you can actually track? And especially defensively, which is probably. Maybe you do like shorter steps and cover ground quicker. Shorter steps, yeah. Anything else? Yeah, yeah, so being aware of where everybody else, keeping an eye on everything else. What about my actual my, my body position as well? Yeah, so and then don't, don't get yourself squared off too, too, too much. Okay, so if I'm tracking, I'm tracking, and I'm, and I'm staying with my chest a little bit open, that I can then turn and, and, re and react and go back down the line. Okay, so try not to get two chests on and two chests on. So all the time, I'm leaving myself open, that I can react either way. Happy? Well, one, one more go? Yeah, one more go at you then. Think about not, yes, make sure we swap the guys in the middle so we're not, yeah, we're not getting the same guy, so we've got a different reading. The middle guy's the hardest place to be here. Yeah? <laughs> Putting all the pressure on him. So, wait, wait, so what have we just said? Yeah, so again, if I'm like this, how fast am I going to be able to react? No, no, very. So again, nice and athletic, where do you think, I, where do I want to be on my feet? Toes. On my toes, okay, so I'm ready to bounce, I can bounce down the line, bounce back down the line. Okay, so on our feet, hands up. Yeah, we don't, if we've got hands down here, we're not going to be moving that fast. Hands up, ready to move. Ready. Red. Yellow. Good. Nice and athletic. Hands up. Ready to move on our toes. Green. Red. Unlucky. Good movements. Very good. Last one on our toes. Chest up. So again, don't try and throw stoop down in the line because we can't move so fast. Yeah, thinking about being like a boxer. So we're stood up, we're ready to move, yeah? We can just throw that jab whenever we want. Red, yep. Yep. yellow. Yep. Good, and landed there. Brilliant, good stuff, fellas. Well done. Okay, so again, just some things to think about how we can track and how we can move in the line. Okay, I'm sure you're already, already thinking about it anyway. Okay, all we're going to look now, we're going to look at some different de some de delivery stuff. And we're just going to look at some off-the-top stuff with a little game over here. Okay, so again, two hookers on the blue marks. 
two, two teams at either side. We're just going to work in a pot of three. So this team, this side, you come in here for me. You're going to take the ball from the hooker there. Okay, so we've got a pod, are you going to jump? Yeah, yeah so you're going to jump. Who's going to lift? Yeah. Front lift, back lift. Okay, all we're going to look at now, we're going to look at yeah, an off the top delivery. Okay, we're looking at how accurate it can be where they put that. So to start with, we've got a nice big orange square for you to hit. So you're going to go up that side of the grid, that side of the post. You're going to spike it over the crossbar and hit the orange, orange cone in the, in the square there. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Okay, you guys then get ready. You're going to come in with a pod of three ready to go next on your hooker. Okay, so just get a team, we're just going to take it in turns and see yeah, who can hit the, uh, hit the orange boxes. So on your, on your hooker, off we go. Good, okay, next group you're ready to come, so when we get the ball back to our man up there. Okay, so we've got a pod, you're just looking to hit this orange, orange box. So stay out of the way until he's hit it. Oh, no, outside the grid, outside the square. Oh, Good. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> Slam dunk. Okay, <laughs> fellas, have we worked it out? What do you think we need to do? Because you have to spike it over there and hit, the, hit that thing better. Throw him up high. Yeah, get him up high. And what else? When we get him up high? Yeah, he don't want to be on his way down as he's trying to spike it. He's trying to, yeah, trying to hit his target. So let's pin him at the top of his jump. What else in relation to where we want to jump here? I know this is a little bit, yeah. Central, not... Central so it's towards, towards the back so we have more room to hit towards the front. Or I'm thinking here as well. So if we're further away from the bar, further to throw it. So there, let's try and take off as close as we can to this bar. Okay, that's just for this. It's obviously not, not, not so much for the line out. Let's think about where we are in position to actually be and make it easy for us to spike it. Happy? You guys, are you back on? Yeah. And you freeze then, just keep rotating round. Keep the space. Yep, good. These boys up. Guys, make sure somebody's next to this grid so you can actually catch the ball as it comes through. Just go grab that for us. Good, was that in? Good. Good, and the rest? What do you think? I like to move the way it's going. Yeah, yeah, so again, we're getting that bit of an airframe, so then we're on your way down, that's why you're hitting the bar. Yeah, you're getting loads of height to start with, but then you're on your way back down. Let's make sure we pin him and get max height so he can deliver that. Good, just on his way down again, I think we can pin him. Yeah, we can pin him better than that. Good, well done. It's all right. Oh. Oh, what do you think of that? What sort of delivery was it? A bit, lo yeah, a bit loopy, wasn't it? Yeah. Again, we want to be able to push it. Fellas, what are we going to do now? Okay, so again, we're going to score. So it's going to be, this is nice and easy. So one point to get it in here. Okay, if we get it in the yellow box, if you choose to go for this, three points. Okay, we're going to get five shots each. Lewis is going to keep score properly this time. Okay, so five goals each, maximum scores. Happy? Keep rotating the jumpers round so you can hit the red or the yellow, but we've got to spike it into the box. It's going to be clean into the box. You guys first. Is it in? Right, you guys. Next group. So it's 3-0 three, three at the moment. Yeah, good shot. I'm giving them that. That was as close as that one. 3 0. Good, we'll give you that. 6 3. Missed it. Okay, stop there. I'm going to change it up and make it harder. Because what we've done now, with what we've done with the actual lifters. Straight, and we've gone straight to the back there. 
Okay, and we've jammed up right really tight on one another. We're not really challenging you as a, as a, a guy to get the ball off the top. Okay, so I want you to be able to win the ball here and still be able to reach and push and try and find that, that scrum half back there. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is so you go spread. So you've got to use that front lifter, you're going to be the jumper, you're going to be the back lifter. Okay, all I'm going to call now is I'm going to call, yeah, I'm going to call F or B. F is forward, B is backwards. Then you've just got to react to that. Okay, and then it's up to you then to choose whether you can hit the orange or you're going to try and hit the yellow. Are we happy? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, unlucky, next one, good. Keep thinking about the drill, yeah, just yeah, make sure we're getting maximum height. B. Yeah, good drills, very good, fellas. Are we ready? F. Oof, he's gone for it. Just out. Oh. Tight, two goals each, two goals each left. Oh. I'll give you that. So yeah, so we've got two two guys each, shall we? Two guys. Uh, yeah, nine six. So you've got one more goal. They've got two. Are you ready? B. Whoa. What's going on there? So throw yet? Yeah, so we'll take some on you. What else? What made it hard for him to see when you were going to set when you were going to do anything? Feeling a little dance as our way back there. Okay, so be nice and sure footed with where we're going. Nice set. Okay, you can help him with that call as well. Okay, let's make it as, as fast and as, yes, as stable, uh, stable as we can as far as our movements. Okay, give him the best shot he can to hit you. Okay? Nice well, that's the uh, last one for you guys. Oh, it's gone. Is this to get a level? He's going to go for a yellow, does he? He has to get yellow, he has to, get yellow to, to level it. Shall I give him an easy one and say backwards? B! Oh, he's missed. Oh, I missed. Okay, I'm coming then. What do we think? Decent? Yeah. Okay, again, so thinking about what, what do we need to be able to, if we want to give that quality delivery all the time, what we've got to use as jumpers, what we've got to get? Yeah, it's the same every time. What else? What else do you need to be able to, 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 be able to deliver that off the top? Well, awareness of where your scrum half is. Yeah, yeah. So, like, if, if he's there, you could, like, chuck it a bit in front of him so he can run onto that pass yeah. from chucking it straight at him. Well, so why do you think we're why do you think we're looking here? Why do we want you to win it here and be able to go like that and push it back there? Yeah, yeah. What else does that do? So if we win it right, if this is the front of the line out and we want to go off the top and we want to attack to the width, okay, we win it here and I just drop it straight to my scrum off there. What's that? What's that pass look like? It's a hell of a long pass. Okay, so all these guys that are back ten meters, what's that allowing them to do? And fly up and come and get us. So again, if we, I have to win it here because that's what. Oh, the only option that we've got and the, the, the opposition are making us do that, we've got to be able to then throw that to, to give the scrum half the best opportunity to get it wide. Happy? Okay, all we're going to do now, we're going to spend a couple of minutes now, so you've got five man, okay, five man line out. You're going to create your own options, okay, and you're going to walk in and then you're going to, you're going to go up, okay? It's going to be judged on, um, obviously, obviously, movement and speed, okay, but then you've still got to hit the boxes. We're going to do, you're going to get five, five goals, okay, on, your, on, a, on a line out, obviously, you get the call. Come in, whatever trigger you want to do. So anything you've worked on with, with Kel, walk in, do it. Okay, we're looking delivery. Same for you. So I'll tell you what, we'll do three options each. And then what we're going to do, we're going to do it out with a compete. So what we'll do then is we can, you, know, we, you don't know their call. We can track and try and get up alongside. And if I have volleyball, we're going to try and stop it, stop it getting the spike. Happy? So three, yeah, so let's organise, get yourselves here. Yeah, you've got uh, 30 seconds just to get some calls organised. Okay, and then you're going to come in, you're going to run these. So, I'll give you something else. Just stop whilst we're just organising. What's going to move on to? So, you're going to get three opportunities here, fellas. So, we're going to get three opportunities now. But when we actually get into the game, into the game okay, as far as when you're going to compete and these guys are going to try and stop you and spike, stop the spike, 
it's going to be a 15 second shot clock. Okay, so you've got 15 seconds to get out, get the call that you're going to run and come in and be able to do it. So what do you think we need as far as our calling structure? Fairly simple and fairly and, and easy to get yeah, good clarity on it. So again, one, two, three might be an easy one. Okay, do we need any slips? Do we not need anything where we go past each other? Okay, think of some real simple, easy things that we're going to run now. So yeah, obviously maximise, get them defenders away from us, but obviously be able to defend, deliver it as well. Okay, got 30 seconds. Still trying to spike it into there, yeah, yeah. To start with, first three each, there's going to be no defenders, and then the next ones, there's going to be defenders there. Who wants to go first? Practice? You've just been jumping all night. Surely you don't need to practice. Who's going where? No, no, not going against them. So it's just a five-man lineup. So you can go, you can start right on the back. Okay, you can start right on the front, and then we've just got a five-man in between it. Okay, are we happy with it? What are you going to run? Are you guys all happy to go next? Who wants to go first? You want to go first? All right, you go first then. Okay, so you guys just step out of the way. They're going to try and hit one of these boxes. Okay, we're looking for speed and max drill. No, nil point. Okay, you guys up. You get three goals each. Oh, outside, a bit floaty as well. Okay, we want it spiked into that area. No points each. Okay, let's go. Let's think about that speed of movement. Yeah, good. Three points. Three zip. Space in. We give it. Three all. Last one then, then we'll go to compete. Spacing. Oh, so freezes. Okay, this for the win. This for the win. Let's go. Oh, they've gone simple and taken it. 6-3. Okay, so we're going to do now. You're going to get five goals each. What you're allowed to do, obviously, now, yeah, we'll defend. Okay, so it's up to you which box to try and hit. Okay, but you guys are going to go up defending and you're going to try and stop the spike. Do we understand? So, again, you're tracking now and trying to stop them getting the ball over the bar. Okay, so if you hit it and knock it away, brilliant. Happy? You guys go first. It's a 15-second shot clock, so you've got to get it in and gone in 15. You. And you're going in 10. Oh, give you that. Three points. Good work. Okay. You've got 15 seconds. Come back. Yeah. You get your call and you can go in. Good. 3 0. So, what have we done defensively? So, we've gone pod and then we've got a single lift. Have we got up on that single lift? No, so well, again, I know this might be what you're doing, but I wanted to now try. Let's try and track. Okay, so let's try and read it with that guy in the middle as well. So, yeah, so try and read it. It's your go. So, again, so I'll give you time. You've got 15 seconds. You've got 42 minutes. Do you want to do the driving stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, nice. Pushed it over the top of the square. Good defence. Good, you're going to get up to spike it. Let's go. Well done. <laughs> one more of them would say you'll have a trick chat before the last one. Yeah! 
Yeah, good drill, very good drill, and coming. So, we talked about some of this stuff over there when we're talking about tracking and how we're going to try and move quickly. What's happened, especially defensively, what's happened to some of our body shape stuff? So, we're real square, and what else have we done? We're all like this, in case we can't move quickly. Okay, so we've got to be able to stay, yeah, stay tall. Again, if we stay tall, I can move. Okay, not until the last minute do I then need to commit and drop to height to then get the maximum lift. Okay, as soon as I drop, I can't jump. I can't turn, I can't move, I can't lift. Okay, so just stay a little bit taller on our toes and we're reacting. Okay, let's try and go like man on. Okay, and I know, um, don't worry, I'll tell Kelly that we've, I'm not cocking you up. Okay, but just make sure we're looking at there, just trying to track a little bit better this time. Okay, we've got two more goals each. Who's winning? Uh, I think it is you, yeah. By what? By a lot. <laughs> there go first. Last two. Last two. <laughs> you guys stop it from in the line. Get in the line. Hey, you get the points, yeah, don't you worry. I'm gonna take three off them. You gotta be up in the line to win the point. Yeah, great defense. Good lads. Yep, your call. Last two. Look how tight we are, it's like a hard to, you can't move. Just give yourself a little bit of space. On our toes, on our toes. Yeah, good work, great D, good stuff. Last one. Good, really good. I'm finished now. We're, we're, well, we're going to go and do a little bit over there, and that's us. Yeah, up to the try, up to the five meter line, yeah. Oh, is it over? Do you win then? You sure? They just dominated that last two. Okay, are we all good? I know we've done, we've done a ton of a ton of jumping and stuff there as well, okay, so I'm, I'm conscious that we've done a lot of that. Okay, well, well done on, the, on all the movement stuff. So, if there's some key things that we think we need to focus on then, as far as defensively and attack, what do you think they are as far as our, 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 our principles to our, uh, to, to maximising space and time? What do you think they, what do you think they are? Speed over the ground. Speed over the floor. Where you start. Mm -hmm. or where you're facing where you start. So what's that going to allow you to do? Right, if you're a jumper, don't face forward and throw to the centre. Okay. Uh, so again, so not, not getting completely squared off from the line, being able to move. What else do we talk about as well? Posture. Posture. So again, so I've actually been on my toes and chest up and not getting too, too, too collapsed into the line. Why would, we, why would we collapse into the line? So this is a, this is a French thing. So why do, why do you think sometimes French, French teams okay, come and, lean, and do that and lean into the line? Why do you think they do that? <laughs> having a breather. Could be having a breather. Okay, what else though? It takes the space. So again, it actually yeah, it opens that space up. So what you'll see they'll do, they'll come and lean like that. So the referee goes, well, actually, you've got to move away because that's not the space. And then they stand up. So that keeps the space for them there. Okay, so that's a tactic that definitely a lot of the French teams will use. Okay, what else? So we talk about yeah, speed, then what? Height. Height, how are we going to get maximum height? In, in so lifters, yeah, jump and actually yeah, looking and making sure we take off on the spot and looking for maximum height. Happy? Fellas, we're going to finish just one last, last thing, okay? Last thing we'll look at is just to look at some, uh, some work just on our, our driving stuff. Okay, so we'll have a bit of wrestle on just to finish. Happy? Oh, we're gonna, all going to do this, we don't need any. Okay, so what we're going to do now, so I need two, uh, two attackers on this, one defender this side. One defender on here, yep. So, all you're going to do, we're going to work on our, the, the, the lift principles when we talked about it over there as far as how we're going to protect him and looking to get Max go forward. Okay, what do we talk about? Where do we want you guys, if we're attacking that way, so lift the bag, so as if you're lifting him, he's in the, in the, the line out, so put him on the air. Okay, bring him down, where do we want him? Behind us, okay, so we're looking at winning that space into there nice and tight. Okay, so your now job is you can try and look to sack. Okay, your job now is to get that bag to the red cone. Okay, but the other condition is it must stay on the line. What do you think is important? We try and keep the bag on the line. So it's staying square, we're trying to stay square and get through them. 
Okay, if we don't stay square, what's what's happen, what, uh, what happens to our mall? So if he stands and goes around there and I'm a defender, where do I end up? Around the side and on the ball, okay? So our focus has got to be we're going to try and stay as square as we can and fight to stay square. Let's have a look at these two and see how we get on. Yo, yeah, just easy on the level to start with before we start beating people up. Okay, so we'll look sack to start with and then try and you're trying to spin them and trying to get into those into those spaces. Okay. Well, what do you think? So yeah, so why? Yeah, we didn't put him back, so he's easy to get on him. Yeah. You can't touch him until it's the floor they remember. Yeah. Oh, it's a penalty. Okay, let's go again. Better. Now get him going. Go back. <laughs> Come on, he's, oh, he's a big lad, but he's not that big. He's 2v1. Okay, let's work together. Again, we're going to get him back there. Let's have a little bit of success for them to start with, and then we can ramp it up. Four, four, four stations. Let's just get, have a go at that. No, no, you have to get hit that bad. Uh, that's why he didn't go forward. <laughs> He's going. Yeah, you got it now. Okay, you can just mix in with the air. So you, you don't have to throw. Just you can have a go at some of the driving and some of the defending. No, yeah, so one of you stay here. One of you go down and make a forward run there. Okay, so we're looking at locking it in nice and tight. Don't let him sack it. Yeah, the competition is to get it to the yeah, get it to the cone. Good, get it to the cone. Brilliant. That's it. Perfect. Swap it round. Have you ever got lift? Yeah, somebody else coming in defend. How do we get on? Did we get sacked? Yeah. So what's happened there? Well, yeah, it's a little bit early, but what else though? So where were you guys as we brought him down? Behind it. Okay, we put that band to him, so it's easy for him to get on. Okay, if to stop him sacking, we need to get into that space, stop him being able to get hold of him. Okay, let's go again. Yep, so win that space. Win the space. Good. Now stay strong. Now go forward. Now go forward. Now go forward. Stay square. Keep going forward. Good. Well done. Good. Working together. Feel that, yeah. Feel that pressure coming on. Can we get it forward and through there? Okay. Just keep going, yeah. So just keep going. Have a couple of reps each. Good, and rest. Good, fellas. Very good. Getting that space. Keep hold of him. And rest. Good. Where were you? Were you too far behind him? Okay, we've got to work together to actually get into that space. Okay, and protect the Both of us protect him. Okay, you were probably sat a little bit back around here. Okay, allow him to get into it. Okay, we'll seal him off. Don't let him get there. Good. Now drive him. Now go on him. Now go on him. You've got him. Good. You've got to the curl. That's it. That's the drill. Well, good stuff. Well defended. Swap it round. Good. Good work. And rest. Okay. Fellas, just come in. That's all there is. Okay, what we'll do, I'll just, uh, I'll just talk through quickly just a, a, couple, a couple of things. So, we've still got that red cone there. Just give us a pot of, of three and somebody who's going to be on the rip. Give us a hooker. So, just hooker go on the, uh, on the, on the dead ball line. Sorry, put that there. Sorry, so just give us a pod. Are you in? So, how do you come in front lift, jumper? So, we're going to play as if we're playing that way, sorry. So, jumper there, I'll have you come in front. Yeah, yeah, so whichever, whichever way. No, yes, you're going to face the X, the hook is that. Sorry, buddy. I'm confusing myself, don't worry. Okay, I just want one defender. I want a ripper, so you can go on the ball there. Okay, so all we're going to do, we're going to go up in the air. Are you after? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So all we're going to do, so you're going to go up, up in the air, you're going to bring the ball down. Okay, all you're going to do, say, uh, you're the defender. Same as what we just trying done there. So you're going to try and get it to him, and you're going to try and sack him. Okay, you guys are going to look after him. They're both going to sack him. No, 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 no. So he's going to take the ball. Oh. It's a 4v1. Yeah. So what should the outcome be? Really? Smash him. Okay, so we're looking to get yeah, get through. So again, we're looking at how we transfer, how we land, and how we're going to get through. Okay, we're driving. We're only going to go to that red cone. Okay, no penalties. So make sure you don't put your hand on until he hits the floor. Yep. And, whoop, he's over the line. What do we think? 
So if we know he's going to sack, what are we, what are we going to try and do? So if he's going to try and sack, what are we going to try and do there? Yeah, we've got to be nice. We've got to get that strong base. So the lifter, the jumper's got to get that split, and the lifters have got to get in behind him and, and get that solid base as well. We're probably too yeah, too easy to get dragged over. We know he's coming for this sack. Good. Can we stay square? Good. And rest. Fellas, we've only got a couple more. Swap in. Give us two defenders. Fellas, we're not allowed to sack now. Okay, we're just not allowed to sack. You're just allowed to, you're just going to try and stop him coming forward. <laughs> and rest. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, from getting to that space there, it's getting hooked. So all we've done, because you've got really square, he's allowed him to come in there and just affect us around that side and knock us out. Okay, try and drop yourself in. Don't give him anything to get under and dig you out. Okay, and again. Nice and solid on this. Solid onto the floor, and then we're looking to go forward on the rip. Good. Fight to stay in. And rest. What do you think? Fellas, it's, it's massively overloaded for the defenders, but how can we, yeah, this is what sometimes we come against, how can we get the better of these guys? What, what's happening so far? They're attacking one side first and then... Yeah, so that, I mean, what, what else is there? So what's the what's the main thing in here? What have we got to do? So if we think this is a scrum, okay, what, what's the biggest thing about Just going forward. body position? So again, but what's the what's the key? What's the key thing to the the, yeah? So again, it's about winning the space. Okay, if we talk about winning the space, it makes it harder for you then to win the collision. Okay, so as a lifter, now if I want to win the collision and get in, get there, okay, what have I got to do from here? Go forward, okay. So from my lift, I've got to go forward into that space. That's going to catch them high. That's going to help us go forward. These guys can't play you until you hit the floor, okay. We're going to have one more go at that. So can we take it forward on the lift? Take it forward. Better. Stay in there. Stay in there now. Fight. Go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep fighting. Perfect. Good one to finish. Happy? Well, there's loads better. So we get into that space, we're fighting then, and then we just kept going, we kept fighting, we kept edging, edging, edging. Perfect. Happy. What other thing then, so if we're thinking then, there, now smashing those two guys in really, really early, what other options have we got as far as the delivery type that's going to catch them if they start doing that? So we've gone off the toppers, obviously, that's an easy one for them to read. What else could we do that maybe gets them to commit? Down and flick out. What else could we do? Yeah, yeah. So, so break out. So again, so you could do it. And again, we can move this on. We'll be able, the plan was, but I've obviously done the usual and talked and gone over time. Okay, is that we, what we could do is that pod, and then we could say, right, the, the whole challenge now is for this team, the attacking team, to get past the red cone. And you can do that via drive. You can do that by off the top and this guy running. Or you can do that by this guy coming in, hitting, bopping out, and then racing off. Okay. And again, all the time, it's putting doubt in the defenders' minds of what they're trying to do. And that's the key to what we're, what we're trying to do. Can we catch them thinking we're going off the top and then bang, we're driving? Can we catch them thinking they're driving and we go bang and bounce out and we go somewhere else? Are we happy with that? Fellas, you've been superb tonight. Thank you very much. Have you got any, any questions on anything that we've done? Anything we've done tonight? I appreciate it. We've been out of here a while now. Anything? Do not let this ruin what happens on the, on the weekend. Those Kelly will be after me. Okay, so again, stick to this, this stuff because it's always been going really, really well. I'm saying there's some, there's some top drills and stuff that's going on in there. All happy, thank fellas. Thank you very much. It's been superb.